Welcome back. We have the Redmi 13. Let us quickly review the specifications. We have 8 gigs of memory, 256 gigs of storage running on Xiaomi Hyper OS 1.0.4.0 that is based on Android 14. So let us take a look at the detailed info and specs. 8 gigs of memory. We went ahead and disabled virtual RAM. It runs on the MediaTek Helio G91 Ultra chipset with maximum clock speeds of 2.0 GHz. Let's begin with a quick game of Genshin Impact. Let's take a look at the graphics settings. Bring it all the way to high, visual effects high. Frame rate on 60 FPS. The phone comes with single bottom firing speakers. Right now it's set to 100% and it can get pretty loud. So I'm gonna bring the volume down. So as you can see, frame rates aren't that good. And so we're gonna go and drop our settings down to the lowest. Frame rate to 60 FPS. And despite being on the lowest setting, mm, doesn't it still doesn't feel as smooth. But it is playable. So if you're gonna be playing Genshin Impact on this phone, just manage your expectations. Our next game is PUBG Mobile. Let's review the graphics, high setting, HD, then frame rate on high. For controls, we have gyroscope set to on. Let's jump. Okay. Looking around, gyroscope isn't as responsive. So I wouldn't recommend playing this game with gyroscope on. Alright, now we're going to take a look at Mobile Legends. First, for the graphics, frame rate is on high, graphics is on ultra. Let's go. So as you can see, the frame rates are pretty good. There is consistency in the performance. Moving on to our last game, we got Cart Street. Let's pump the graphics all the way up to 6 and 7 FPS limit, no limit motion blur and smoke intensity on high let's go oh wow it's not even responding wow okay <laughs> 
so right off the bat we can see that the phone is struggling Helio G91 Ultra unable to keep up with the demands of car x street let's bring graphics all the way down let's increase the volume motion blur off smoke intensity off so at the lowest setting Park Street is still struggling on the Redmi 13 so clearly not a phone made for gaming but still if you're gonna be gaming on this phone there are games that are gonna do okay-ish like PUBG and Mobile Legends so we've been playing on this phone for a while now. Let's take a look at the surface temperature. I'm seeing 42.5 right about here. 42.8. Rounded off to 43 degrees Celsius. So on the back of the phone, I'm seeing 41.6. So roughly 42 to 43 degrees there. 42 degrees Right about here then from here you can get a glimpse of the glass back panel this is the ocean blue colorway before we end just a few benchmark results Antutu 277k Passmark 3.3k next we have PC Mark 7.6k over here we have the thermal throttling test and as you can see the temperature only rose by around 4 degrees but performance stayed at 100%. On this screen, it shows the graph which stayed consistent at 100% performance throughout 10 minutes. So very, very stable system. Whatever they did with Redmi 13 and the Helio G91 Ultra is working because we have a very stable system and reliable performance so that ends our gaming review for the redmi 13 if you have any questions just search for tech kuya on youtube and we'll see you guys there bye